Zers and Watchers Grave and Nessus, and he is currently selling Hard Light. Uh, if you don't have Hard Light, I highly recommend you scoop this up because of the fundamentals. When you hold R, the gun, the gun, the, the, change this weapon's damage type cycling between Solar Arc and Void. It's really good for when match game is on. I still think the sniper rifle of this is way better, but at the same time, whatever, it's still really good. Rounds fired from this weapon have reduced damage fall off over penetrates targets and ricochets off hard surfaces projectile damage increased after bounce highly recommend it obviously it's really good it has a catalyst if you're interested in that but yeah other than that uh i would i would recommend it for hunters we have young ahankara's spine which is increases trip mine grenade duration and blast radius ability damage grants trip mine grenade energy uh it's fine i I don't use it a lot. I know a lot of other people that do use it and vouch for it. I just not the biggest fan of it. Never have been, if I remember correctly. Even in D in D one, I might be wrong on that. The oh shit, this is a pretty good rotation. Seventeen on recovery. You like to see that specifically because it'll be at nineteen, which is pretty good. But if you put that, if you put this on mobility, you'll have twenty two. That's pretty good, bro. Not only that, but you'll be getting a fifteen on discipline once you unlock all of it. Yeah, this is pretty fucking fire, bro. I'm gonna scoop this up. The stats are pretty good. Like, they're not amazing, but dude, this, actually, they pretty, they pretty. It's strength and it's bro. I'm scooping this up. That's pretty good. I would, I would pick this up. For Titans, it's Crest of Alpha Lupi, generates an additional orb of power from supers and a healing pulse when barricade is activated. I'm not the biggest fan of this one, although if you have a fire team and your hunter has those new boots that got nerfed like twice, um, this would be pretty good because obviously generates an additional orb of power from supers, so you get more more orbs. Uh, if it was a little bit more than one, I would I would be like, yeah, get this, it's really good, but other, I don't know. Uh, I don't even remember how it was in Destiny 1, but yeah, I recommend it. I would definitely get this. Um, not for these perks, though, or these, these, uh, the stats. These stats are pretty dog shit. You never want mobility. You always want resilience, recovery, discipline, intellect, intellect, or strength. With these last three being like the ones that are interchangeable, I think resilience and recovery is like the main ones that Titans really want to look at. So, stats are pretty dog shit for me. Last but not least, I have another world, which is definitely in something i'm going to be scooping up. oh my god these stats are good uh highlights priority targets and improves the regeneration speed of your grenade melee and rift energy so abilities and it's pretty good i think war i think warlocks should definitely always have this on standby just because it's really good a little too good if you ask me considering uh the highlight priority targets you actually are able to highlight who has their super depending on which color they, they highlight, which is pretty weird. Uh, it's not that crazy considering you can just, you know, press tab or whatever have you, and then just look who, have, who has a super, but it's pretty good for an, in the situation where like, you're just aware, oh, that person has their super, so I have to be cautious. Not only that, but you also do get a speed up in grenade, melee, and rift, so that's pretty good as well, so. That's pretty much it. I'm not gonna get the exotic for today because I'm not my warlock, and I I always have this for my for my hunter because my hunter is currently I'm trying to get like really good stuff for him. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let me know your thoughts and comments below if you guys want to follow me on my social media. All the things are in the description below. Thank you all for coming up to this point, and I'll see you guys later.